Merci. <rire> I can't stop thinking about you. Hello and welcome back to Lorefin Gaming Plays Fable Anniversary. I'm your host Lorefin. In this Fable Anniversary Evil Path Part 25 video, we're doing Rescue Archaeologist and the Graveyard Path. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Do not forget to hit the notification bell to so be updated and much more. So let's go ahead and start the first two for one story quests. It's time to uh, definitely go ahead and grab this quest. We're going to rescue the archaeologist. I'm not going to do any bonuses because there's one part that is timed. We're going to go ahead and explain about that part later on. For now, you definitely want to be really prepared for this because you're going to be in combat constantly. Plus, you're facing a new foe too. So you need to go to Bowerstone from Bowerstone South. Exact location where I'm at is Bowerstone North. Then uh, Bowerstone Jail to start the quest off. Make sure you quit with uh, potions on you so this way you can heal at all times, your best weapons and armor, and anything else too. I'm going to go ahead and say hello to my wife and give her a gift before I actually do start in the quest. How's it going? And I think she's very happy. There you go. And she likes me. So now we're going to go ahead and start the quest and combat. I'll be back if there is a nice uh, break in between. There were too many of them. We never stood a chance. They grabbed the archaeologist and took him up the hill there. I don't know what they're planning to do with him, but I bet it ain't going to be pretty. You've got to rescue him. Quick, there isn't much time. I'm right behind you. Never seen anything like that. Let's get them. Behind you. That is a ton of fights. I'm going to have to try get to the minion caster. Hopefully I get to him eventually. But for now, we got more minions to definitely may murder and destroy. Go 
Watch your back! Following! The barrier is down, caster is gone, so we're getting to the next zone. Uh, it's going to be the same thing minus the barrier, of course, so let's clear out all the uh, foes. Yeah, I tried to attack the troll, found out the troll was actually on our side. I think it is. Let's see if I can do anything to it. And let's look at it and see the damage. No, actually it is on our side. So we'll ignore it, still clear out some more minions. I'll be back after all that is done. Here's the deal, in the next area you got exactly 5 minutes, I do mean 5 minutes exactly, in order to get to the archaeologist. If not, it's basically game over and it's reloading your save. Use what you want to, to get this done quickly. Hurry, they've almost reached the boat. You're running out of time.
It seems you've mastered using it. But then, I'd still be safely in my cave if it wasn't for you. Yes, yes, I know the way into Bargate Prison. I know everything, don't I? That's why I'm as good as dead if they find me again. Anyway, there's an ancient route into the prison through the Litchfield Graveyard. It hasn't been opened in centuries. But you'll have to figure that one out for yourself. I'm not sticking around here. I still know a few good hiding places. The annoying archaeologist is definitely saved. Now, uh, great and wonderful news, we automatically get the next quest, which is the graveyard path. So we're going to go ahead and go to it now, do it right away. It's uh, simple, just follow the arrows and you should be able to easily get there. Now here's the deal in this one, once you get to the graveyard, here's the thing. A lot of undead, I don't mean a lot, will spawn constantly. I'm giving everybody the warning ahead of time, so you be prepared. If you really want to, use silver augmented weapons. Uh, I can think of the uh, nice uh, two-handed club you got from that temple of Avo. Also the uh, crossbow that has the silver augmentation. You got from the 15 silver key chest in the dark forest. Or should I say the dark wood. Sorry about that. Yeah, those two will help you out big time against the undead. So I'm going to go ahead and get some loot. Now, use timestamps. If you're looking for silver keys, I'll mark those big time. Now, we're on the way to this wood. So I'm just going to go ahead and talk to you through about the combat. Because I can kill this uh, fool in one or two hits. Well, a lot of them each. I'm going to try to aim for headshots because I do need some skill points really up there. There you go. Aim and headshot. Oh, yeah. I did forget to uh, do the uh, dress thing. I'll do that when I start seeing innocent people. Then I'll switch. Hopefully, I got the beard, too. Let's go ahead and do another one. And let's see. Yep. There goes his head. Pop goes the weasel. Same thing with that one, too. Yeah. Scorn's bow is very powerful if you know how to aim. I am dead serious about that. Now we're almost to the uh, graveyard. Just uh, take the uh, path that's, uh, I think it's gold slash orange. Just uh, flashing. And you should easily get there. Now once you start at the graveyard, then a quest start uh, uh, thing will definitely pop up. So let's go on in. We're almost there now. This will be a great time to loot this area up. I forgot to uh, mention. So uh, here's the deal. If you uh, did Lady Grey's uh, Mayor's Invitation quest, we have to impress her. You didn't get a chance to loot it up. Well, I am definitely getting a chance to loot at least this uh, party area up. Let's see here. Oh, that's someone's uh, head about to be chopped or was chopped. So let's keep on going and go inside the graveyard. Now, see, there's the quest thing. I actually did it one scene ahead, but still, we're just going to go ahead and keep on uh, going. So go down this path towards the uh, gold quest seal, flashing, and you would get a nice cutscene. Take your time at looking the, uh, around the area, just scout it out before uh, doing anything else. Now, once we uh, see the cutscene, then we learn our actual objective. If you want to, you can go ahead and kill these fools. I'm not, instead I'm going to let the undead do its job. You have a whole set? That must be worth a bleeding fortune. Yeah, I smashed open the crypt and it was all just lying there. You'd better hide it to make sure no one else steals it. Don't worry, I've got it stashed all over the yard. No one's going to find it. Not even them undead what's wandering around. Only thing I didn't manage to hide before they turned up was the helmet. It'll be all right here for now, and I'm keeping them gates locked till I can sell the lot. Shh! What was that? Someone's out there. 
I better go. Um, yes. <clears throat> Get out of my house, you bloody peasant. All right, I'm leaving. I just needed somewhere to sleep. So, in order to access the demon door, we need some four special pieces of equipment. We can't use it, but we still need it. Talk to the caretaker in order to have access to the other three pieces. The first one's actually in this house. Oh, hello. Uh, guild business, is it, eh? Hmm? You want to go through them old kingdom gates? I tell you, they ain't been opened for generations. They say that only Nostro the gatekeeper could open them. But old Nostro died a couple of hundred years ago, and now the secret's buried with him in his crypt. I suppose you'll be wanting access to the graveyard. Hmm. Well, let's go. Nostro's crypt is on the far side of the graveyard, over the river and up the hill. Leave me alone, you organic bastard. I only open for Nostro, the ancient guardian of the door. Not for you, and not for that rancid gravekeeper. Now, uh, here's the uh, deal. We're going to get the uh, first one, which is the helmet. Very easy to find. The uh, area's definitely uh, opened up big time. Now, here's the good news. You could kill off the caretaker. That is a uh, correct reason why you uh, could kill him off. He's kind of useless. He, he's just really annoying. He's just telling you to go to the uh, crypt and blah, 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 explore it. Yeah, despite the fact you're listening on him, he said, oh, I hid in the graveyard the other three pieces or so. There you go. That's number one. Now, I'm going to go ahead. Well, besides fist finds, clear out the area to the silver key. Yeah, we're getting the two silver keys in this video. It is time to go fishing. Now you want the Rod of Champions to make things a lot more easier. Yeah, do the fishing contest. I mean, come on, seriously. So let's uh, go ahead and do it. Wait for a reel to get in. Oops. Try again. It'll be still be there. There you go. Now we're going to try reel everything there. All right. Looks like this one's going to be real easy. Ooh, ooh, this one's a little fast. Not much on the red line tug. And voila. There is a silver key one for this video. Now, if we get to 20 in a future video, I will open the Heroes Guild 20 key chest. But for now, we're going to try to look for the next items, the sword. You're going to look for a certain grave. Uh, it's not this one. No, it's uh, the other one. It's right here. Yeah, that's where you want to dig. So let me uh, go read this one. Then dig at the uh, correct spot. Now, let's see if I do anything right. And yeah, there you go. We got the sword. So we're already halfway there. Let's go get the other silver key.
The next silver key is really easy is in the other crypt and inside this is the second silver key. So let's go to the Colossus Gate next. I'm gonna go ahead and get the call escape this way I can refresh my head. Now I worries look for the other two. Now if you're ever in trouble go to the call escape then go back to the Heroes Guild and you'll be quite alright. So let's go ahead and get the armor next. The armor is very easy. Go down to the script and open it up. Inside is your armor. So we're going to go ahead and get the last and final item. It is the shield. Let's uh, go ahead and go fishing. So while I'm fishing, foes will not attack me at all, which is a great thing. So bust out your best rod. In my case, the rod of champion. Yeah, you should do that fishing tournament. I'm repeating it. I don't care throughout the series. Whoa, that was a close one. Yeah, this is a tough one. So we're going to do it. And there you go. We have the shield. Now, next stop is the resting place to put all four there. That is all four. This is where you want to check and make sure you have all four items. So go to your, uh, let's see here, items, go to the key. You're looking for is uh, his armor set. Yeah, and also I have the rod champion or championship. Still, there you go. One, two, three, four. Now we're turning in. My armor, my helmet, my sword, and my shield. You gathered for me, so the path I shall use. So, you 
helped the old one recover his armor. I'll let you through then. Be careful though. I don't want your finger marks all over me. So, here's the deal about this area. It constantly will spawn undead like crazy. See? I told you, you could do whatever you want to either uh, fight or flee. At some point, you'll be forced to uh, fight in a certain section. You all will definitely see that. So, I'm going to go ahead and kill some foes. Also, run too. I'll be back uh, when I'm ready to go to the next area. The area is definitely cleared. Let's go ahead and get to the next zone. I admit that was very fun. Oh look, a hint. You should get your weapon silver augmented. Now it's with a silver augmentation. So let's zone on in. So uh, here's the uh, thing about this area. The uh, circle of the dead is, uh, works exactly like this. You get in that uh, middle circle. Then you will have to face off against some normal undead. That's round one. Round two, there's uh, three uh, big ones. Now, if you're good at killing undead, it's not that hard. Slow time, do whatever you need to do, and more. Before I actually do start, I am looking for some uh, treasure chests. Now, uh, this one I didn't mark. I felt the loot was in a, uh, you know, I mean, that great. It's okay at best. See, all inside was a piercing augmentation. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the fight. I'll be back after.
The quest is now complete. Now here's the good news and bad news, everyone. The next area is a mini, uh, the point of no return. In other words, you'll be stuck in this area for a while. So save your game before going in. Now I can't save the uh, game for the next part of the quest since, yeah, you only get to uh, save the checkpoint and that's about it. So we have arrived here finally. Here's a recap for this uh, video. The first thing I did was is rescue the archaeologist, got some loot on the way, kill many foes. After that, did the graveyard path, got two silver keys, got four pieces of armor, give it to this one uh, spirit, have access to the demon door, arrive at the circle of the dead, and won the fights, and finally arrive here. Well, I want to sit for my favorite anniversary, Evil Path Port 25 Rescue Archaeologist, and the graveyard path video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thanks for watching, and have a great day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left hand corner. Have a great day or night and do some serious damage in video games.